What's going on lads? What's the crack? Hope you guys had a good weekend. We're back with another squad builder. I'm buying a couple of players here. We are doing an England under 2100 squad. A lot of people have been asking me for this. So yeah, look, you don't need to focus too much on, you know, building an absolute dominant squad. All you need to focus on is having a team that's going to be up in condition and, you know, stacking the chances of getting unwavering players into your squad, have a couple of super subs on the bench, and then obviously stay under the limit while not having to wipe edge. You should be using this to improve, you know, to test out players. Um, I'm buying a couple of players here, players, players here that have unwavering form. Uh, because I want them to be up on the form arrow more often than not. I'm buying super subs. I'm buying impact players in off the bench that can score goals. I'm buying players that are going to be consistent, that can play in multiple positions. So yeah, we're going to take a look at the full squad in a minute. Then I'm going to go over to eFootballDB and show you a couple of things as we get a shiny Tony there as well. We've got Maitland Niles, one of the most underrated players in the game. Absolute beast, can play so many positions. Look at the H formation there. He can play literally everything with his position guide. But yeah, it's all about, I think, scoring goals. A lot of people are kind of taking, um, you know, building a squad around three or four players and then having a bench of like 52 rated players. And I just think that that really offers nothing because usually what I do is I'll get a goal or two and then I'll probably just give my opponent a goal or two to help him get the reward. So, you know, it's all about just having a little less kind of a, of a sweaty experience. Um, and that's why I've tested out a lot of players and tested out a lot of things in the game. So what we're going to be focusing on here is there is a couple of like bits and bobs to get into, which we'll see with the full squad now. But with the under 2100 cup, all you need to do, if you are a newcomer, all you need to do is score goals. As you see here, you get three matches and you have to score one goal in the first challenge, two in the second challenge and three in the third challenge. So you get three matches per challenge and all you need to do is score a maximum of three goals uh, in the third challenge. You can score it in one goal game, you can score it across three games and two games, it doesn't make a difference. Once you hit that three goal target, in the third challenge, you will get your 50 coins. So we've already completed it um, with a Japanese squad, as you saw there. We got four goals in one game. But yeah, this is the squad that we're going to be using, right? So there's a couple of talking points here that I will get into. Uh, we've got Henderson in goals. We've got uh, Tuanzebe at the back, or Tuanzebe at the back. We've got Maitland Niles. We've got Cook. We've got Wamba Saka. We've got Skolzi, who's the free player. We'll get to him in a bit. But this is a pretty, pretty beastly squad. Now, we do have Marcus Rashford up front as an 81 overall from the Manchester United pack. You can use his regular version. I just have him boosted up too much. He's at like maxed out 87 because uh, he's got 99 uh, kicking power and 99 speed. But you can just get the normal version of Matt Rashford. I think he's about 50,000 or 40,000. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and this squad will still be under. And you could also get, you know, any, any center forward that's around 78 to 80 overall will fit in this team strength. And as I said, I don't really recommend and I don't, I don't condone don't white benching. I like to get players to test them out and to see whether they're worth boosting up, whether to see if they are able to gonna you know gonna be into a, in a future squad of mine. If I'm doing a you know a road to glory, free to play uh, on a different profile, if I'm starting from scratch or whatever. But yeah, we've got a mix of pace. We've got our wingers up front, Hudson Adoy and Etze, who are absolute monsters, really really good. And on our bench, we have got a mixture of players with unwavering form. And then super sub or else really good player skills, such as Willock there. You've also got Tony, who's an absolute beast up front. Really, really good player um, to have and to boost up. If you wanted to lead the line with him, you could instead of Rashford and boost him up to 80. Super sub there on him. Super sub there on Danny Welbeck. So the thing is, is that if one of your players in your starting 11 isn't doing a fear, you can just bring on a couple of super subs and get that boost. If a player is down on form, you have a couple of unwavering four players on the bench. And... It doesn't really matter like if your goalie is 70 rated or, or 80 rated. You're going to concede goals in this uh, event either way because most people stack their players or stack their squads with really good attack-based players. Um, you know, I've come up against guys that have had four 52 rated uh, full back or center backs um, in the backs or three center backs in the backs. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to try to be doing here is just getting players that fit our squad and fit kind of the roles, like having the roles per squad. So you don't really need to play the meta. You don't need, really need to play anything. Uh, you just want players that can dominate in their position and be able to hold their own in case you do come up against somebody. As I said, I came up against a guy who was playing as a French squad and he had Mbappe, Benzema and Dembele up front. And then literally seven of his players were 52 rated. He'd have fully... Um, 
white rated squad on the bench and then the rest of his players were like you know 90 overall so he'd like about 6 90 overalls and then the rest of the squad were just complete white guys and I think I beat him like 7-3 or something like that because he was just passing the ball to Mbappe which it doesn't matter if you concede now we will talk about Scolzi here right because Scolzi is a legend but you can get him for free right you can get him for free on the eFootball point store if you do not have enough points in the eFootball store, or if you do and you haven't bought them yet, this is where it is if you're a newcomer. Um, you can go in here and there's players that you can get on the exchange. We've got him in here. I've boosted Skolzi up as well. But if you don't have Skolzi or you don't have the points to get him, you can just slot in any centre midfielder here. I do recommend having a really good ball playing centre midfielder. That's around like 85 uh, overall, especially for an England squad, because what you're going to want to do is get the ball, you know, into your midfield and spread it out as best as you possibly can. Now we could put Mason Mountain there, we can put Foden in there, any anybody basically that's between, you know, eighty five and eighty. And again, you can change your squad if you want to. You could put a player up front like Harry Kane if you wanted a ninety rated uh, striker. Take out uh, Paul Scholes and put like a you know a seventy eight a seventy eight to to eighty rated centre midfielder in there as well. Um, there's lots of players there. I've just tried to pack the team with players, as I said, that have either a wavering form, super sub, or have really good player skills for their position. And then the wingers and the strikers need to have pace and power and be able to kind of, you know, interlink with each other. Like Etze can play left mid, he can play attack mid, or he can play through the middle. Hudson Adoy can play on both wings or through the middle. Rashford can play on both wings or through the middle. So you're just giving yourself a lot of options. You're testing out a lot of players, but I think this is a really good squad. Genuinely, I think this is a really good squad. There's a lot of variety. You can switch it around. You can mix and match. We have Rashford on from the Manchester United pack, but you can use the default one. I said that earlier, I know, but you can use the default one just in case you see Rashford here. You're going to even have more to play around with if you want to. And you can get a couple of really good players in this English squad because there are some really good players like Wamba Saka, uh, Maitland-Niles, that have really good stats but don't have a big overall uh, rating so it kind of keeps the overall rating down now last thing I will say lads is about training up players don't train up players if you are you know going to stay underneath the, the squad like uh, level rating so we're just going to be training up players here uh, with their team play style proficiency don't train up their stats just train up their team play style as you see here we're going to be pumping in maybe four to five players uh, to bring up their out wide because that's the formation that we're playing but you can play any formation that you want or any team play style that links up with the manager. It doesn't really make a difference. I usually play out wide by default, but you can choose quick counter. Just do what I'm doing here um, with uh, Tuanzebe and put the put, pump the points into whatever play style proficiency you want. You don't have to pick out wide. You can pick long ball, long ball counter, possession, or quick counter. I'm using out wide here. And that'll just bring up the overall team play style proficiency of your players and your squad. If you bring it up over 94 or 95, you will get a boost to their overall stats that will not count towards the overall rating not that it really matters but anyway that's it for me lads hope you enjoyed this english under 2100 squad builder i'll be back quite soon peace